Welcome to my anniversary playing of Super Solvers Reading and Spellbound. Today marks 20 years since we got the game. And I know for sure it's today because we got the day before my last day of day camp at the Y. Robotic paintbrushes, now pay attention! We're here at the Shady Glen School for one purpose to make the school disappear! My spies tell me that pesky super solver may try to stop me and save the school. To avoid being caught, I'll hide inside one of you. If I can stay hidden until midnight, we'll have enough time to prepare the disappearing paint to use on the school. The Super Solver will try to find me by taking pictures of you and comparing them with clues I've hidden throughout the school. You can distract the Super Solver by throwing your tricks to- Hey! Who did that? Okay, Mischief Makers, remember! We only have to keep the Super Solver busy until midnight! Then we can make the school disappear! Now! Let's get out there and be on guard! What does he have against the school, really? Well, it's never really explained anyway. But I kind of had an epiphany while waiting to play this because I think I kind of see which order the games were made, and I think the Spellbound was the third last Super Solver game ever made. I'll explain in Spellbound. As a trainee, you will see new player hints from time to time. They will help you learn how to play the game. If you want to turn them off, go to the options menu when you get into the game. I will play until I get to the junior level. <laughs> Take your time. The clock is paused while you are reading a passage. To move through the reading, click on the page down button. So, the upside to trainee mode is that the robots are easier to lose for one thing. Uh, it seems out of place. The reading clue you've just found has been placed in your notes. When you want to see the clues and pictures you've collected, click on the notes button. Oh yeah, apparently Morty Maxwell used to go to this school. Thirteen cats? Okay, I have to question everything. You have collected a clue to help you win the game. Nothing in the auditorium. But there's only like six rooms in this school anyway. Morty's di oh wait, this isn't Morty's diary. I have to question how old he is.
Don't worry, I'm not going to do a commentary for all of these. Now, this game will replace Ace Carmen since I've essentially put that to bed. Don't worry, I'm going to finish my plans, my remaining plans with them. I don't abandon projects unless I can't open them. And one classroom. I guess Morty got his kangaroo after all. Well, the film machine's not there. There's one more clue to be had. Don't feel like dealing with you today, people. Fingerprints. Now to take pictures of these robots and stop Morty's plan. Brace yourselves. The next your notes include a yeah. checklist of what you've collected and a clue card for each robot. Click on the clues button to see the first clue card, and the next card button to move through the cards. Compare the robot picture to the reading clues you've collected. When you think you figured out whether or not a robot is the master of mischief, click on the decide button. Does this robot picture match all four clues? Click on the Yes, it does. I hope. Are you sure you want to accuse Pogo of being the master of mischief? I accuse you of being the master of mischief. That was quick. You need a total of 30,000 points to move up in rank from junior to senior. Well, I am going to exit this game right now and I will put in Spellbound. I forgot. Yeah, I did mention that. Oh, and by the way, today's my cousin's birthday. She goes by Undercover Vampire on YouTube. Come on, open up. I think my original copy of reading of reading nine to twelve is probably lost or thrown out because 
it got pretty scratched up and such. This Spellbound is going to replace Operation Neptune. Do I have to pause this? No, I don't. Yada, yada, yada. Attention all Super Solvers! The Master of Mischief has challenged you, the Super Solver, to a spelling bee. Can you make the finals at the White House? Play games on Spellbinder to shop... This looks an awful lot like the... Let's see how fast I can do this. hidden in the puzzle. Point and click the mouse to pick and unpick letters. All letters must be connected. At level one, the words go across and down. See the words bear and wizard. Um, let's see. This will take me a while. Remember, they go across and down. Oh, there's barbecue. I wish I could drag this. Okay, Couch, oh, there it is. <coughs> no, I want to get this. I'm gonna have a problem if it's gonna do this to me all the time. Oh man! I have a problem. I may have to cancel this. I could delete the name and see if this will do a different one, but. Okay, I don't think the game likes, um, <clears throat> likes the everyday stuff. Well, the easy thing is... At level what? Yes, yes, I get it. Thank you. 
Now, where's rebound? Now let's do flashcards with Morty's face on them for some reason. Oh, let's do this now then. Super solver, spell the words that are flashed or spoken to you. If you can't hear the words clearly, turn the voice off at the options menu and all the words will be flashed. Welcome to the Shady Glen Classroom Spelling Bee. Contestant number one. Robot used from Contestant previous game. <coughs> Contestant number three. Contestant number one. Please spell the word swing. S W I N G. That is correct. Contestant number two. Please spell the word jump. That's right. Contestant number three. Please spell the word exercise. E X E R C I S E. That's right. Contestant number one. Please spell the word chase. C H A S E. That is correct. Contestant number two. Please spell the word asphalt. Great job, contestant number three. Please spell the word. I would have had trouble with that word in when I was nine. L I D. Incorrect. Contestant number one. Please spell the word slide. S L I D E. Great job, contestant number two. Please spell the word throw. That is correct, contestant number one. Please spell the word foul, as in she hit a foul ball. F U L. Incorrect, contestant number two. Please spell the word foul, as in she hit a foul ball. That's right. Well, that's the end of that. See you tomorrow when I do my plane of long play of Where in the USA.